Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be testing a new ESC and this is a new ESC from Flycolor. It's called the X-Cross ESC. It takes a 3 to a 6S input up to 35 amps and it is a BL Heli 32 ESC. And they do provide you with a telemetry pad if you want a telemetry. Now it doesn't have current sensing so take that into consideration. And uh, what it does have instead of a current sensor and LED which is totally fine. I don't use them but some people really like using these I guess. Now, if you take a look at this, this is pretty interesting because the design is pretty close to this guy. And this is one of the best Beale Heli S ESCs I've ever tested. So I'm very curious to see how well this is going to turn out. Hopefully they learned something from that one and they applied it to this latest ESC here they have. And uh, I'm very curious how well this is going to turn out. So obviously, well, it's not obvious. There is no heat sink. You might think there's a heat sink, but there is no heat sink. The MOSFETs are up to here and there's still some caps and some other stuff here going on on the board right there. So... I mean, that's all I could really say right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to test it for noise and we're going to be testing it with the Emax 2306-2450KV motors. Those are very noisy and very harsh on ESCs with a Matek F405CTR flight controller so we can get a clear representation of what's really going on in the video feed as well as monitoring everything on the oscilloscope. So enough talking, let's just get started. Alright guys, so the results are in and they're looking pretty good. Now, let's get into this real quick. Up here we have the throttle noise. Both of these are exactly the same. This is 10% throttle just to warm up the motor. 25%, 50%, 75 and 100% throttle on both of these. And this is a simulated aggressive flight maneuver noise here. Now, uh, let's, let's just put something in a comparison so you get an idea. So the throttle noise looks very good. Uh, for example, let's compare it to something that was really good we recently tested. Or actually, the best 4.1 ESC we ever tested. Uh, which is right here. So if you take a look here, this is the Tico 32 41 ESC. So as you can tell, that's pretty consistent and that's very nice to see. However, on the aggressive flight maneuvers, I actually expected just a tad bit more of these voltage spikes to be buffed out because, you know, I just had so much high. This is still a good result. I'm not saying it's a bad result. This is still a phenomenal result, but it could have been a little bit better. Um, so, for example, here, I'll give you another one just to get an idea of what's really going on. Here's just a random BL Heli 32 ESC. Most, this is better than 80% of other BL Heli 32 ESCs out there uh, from everything I have tested. Now, I've tested a lot, but I haven't tested everything. And uh, let's take a look here. So, if we say, I don't know, here's one, XUAV. So here's XUAV from Banggood. As you can tell, this is what you don't want to see. This is you, this is kind of what you want to see, but a little bit buffed out more, thus giving you a very good result. So for example, here's another example. Here, let's just say the Tico 32 with the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers and no capacitor on board. Uh, let's get the colored version so you get a better idea. Okay. So can you see this? This is the Tico 32 now, and this is this, the X-Cross Flycolor ESC. Um, as you can tell, it's it's doing pr it's doing pretty good, but I wish these were buffed out a little bit more. If they were, uh, this would have been phenomenal, and it still is because just one low ESR capacitor, you don't need much on this. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could stick these ESCs on a 32-bit uh, gyro, um, um, the ICM gyro, and just but you're gonna have to add one low ESR capacitor. This can sometimes seep into these little voltage spikes. Not as bad as other ESCs, but this can seep into the gyro and cause a little 
uh twitching possibly just a tad bit but i do highly recommend i think if you put a low ESR capacitor it would be just as good as a tico with nothing which is a very good result and uh, you could tell by the red lines here they're not really going all over the place but i really wish these were just buffed out a little bit more like towards the dark blue right there uh that would have been just gorgeous right there uh but overall this is still better than 80 percent of any other esc i've tested and um it seems like it's a very good result here so if you pick some up good job if you're thinking of picking them up they're not bad at all but just go ahead and grab yourself a low esr capacitor and i'm not saying this i recommend a low esr capacitor on, on every build now to be honest after all the testing i've done just a, just put it one tiny 470 microfarad rubicon low esr capacitor i'll leave a link to the ones that i've tested and used uh down in the description below as well as these escs and um this is just um it's very good i expected a little bit more fly color i hope you're watching uh but it's still a good result maybe add like two more caps to that uh esc and you should be probably clean you clean that up right there and um yeah that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video please consider joining my patreon help support this channel help keep it going and um yeah i'll leave a link to everything down below and i will see you next time see you guys take care